Imagine a structure towering high, standing strong against all the odds. Its foundation unshaken, its walls unbreakable. This is the result of a seemingly small but so important step in the construction process. Curing concrete is a step that is often overlooked, but make no mistake, it's a crucial aspect in ensuring the strength, durability, and longevity of your concrete structures. Think about it, you've put in all the effort to mix the right proportions of cement, sand, and water, poured it into the mold, and waited for it to set. But the work isn't done just yet. The next step, curing, is where the real magic happens. It's the process that transforms a mixture of simple ingredients into a solid, strong, and durable structure. It's a step that determines the strength and longevity of your structure, and yet it's often given little attention. Join us as we delve into this interesting topic. We'll break down the process of curing concrete and show you how to make your structures stand the test of time, from its definition to its importance, to the various methods and techniques. Prepare to be astounded and informed. So what exactly is concrete curing? Concrete curing is a critical step in the construction process that is essential for ensuring the strength and durability of concrete structures. Simply put, it's the process of keeping freshly poured concrete moist and at a controlled temperature to allow it to fully develop its properties. When concrete is poured, the chemical reaction between cement, water, and other ingredients begins. This reaction, known as hydration, forms the chemical bonds that give concrete its strength. However, this reaction takes time to fully develop, and that's where curing comes in. By keeping the concrete moist and at a controlled temperature, curing allows the hydration process to continue until the concrete reaches its full strength and durability. Importance of Concrete Curing Curing concrete is important for several reasons. Firstly, it ensures that the concrete reaches its full strength and durability. By keeping the concrete moist and at a controlled temperature, curing allows the chemical reaction between cement, water, and other ingredients to continue until the concrete reaches its full strength. This helps to prevent cracking, shrinking, and other forms of damages such as efflorescence, surface scaling, and spalling that can weaken the concrete and reduce its lifespan. Secondly, curing helps to prevent surface damage and dusting. Freshly poured concrete is susceptible to surface damage and dusting if it's not properly cured. By keeping the concrete moist and protected, curing helps to prevent these issues and ensure a smooth, durable surface. Thirdly, curing can improve the appearance of concrete. A well-cured concrete surface is smoother, harder, and more uniform in color than a surface that hasn't been properly cured. This can enhance the overall look of your structures and improve their aesthetic appeal. Finally, curing helps to conserve resources and reduce costs. By ensuring that concrete reaches its full strength and durability, curing can reduce the need for repairs and maintenance over the life of the structure. This can save time, money, and other resources, making it a critical step in the construction process. Now, let's talk about the different types of curing process. There are several methods of curing concrete, each with its own benefits and limitations. The best method for your project will depend on factors such as the size and type of structure, the weather conditions, and the resources available. It's important to choose the right method and implement it properly to ensure the strength and durability of your concrete structures. These are some of the most common methods used. Number one, ponding. This is one of the simplest and most effective methods of curing concrete. It involves creating a temporary pond around the concrete. The water in the pond helps to keep the concrete moist and prevents rapid evaporation, allowing it to cure properly. This method is often used on flat concrete surfaces. One of the benefits of ponding is that it's easy to implement and requires little ongoing maintenance. However, it can be difficult to maintain the water level in the pond, especially during periods of high evaporation, which can impact the curing process. Number two, spraying. This method involves applying a fine mist of water to the surface of the concrete using a hose or sprayer. 
The mist helps to keep the concrete moist and prevents rapid evaporation, allowing it to cure properly. This method is often used in hot weather or in areas with low humidity to prevent rapid evaporation. One of the benefits of spraying is that it's easy to implement and doesn't require much setup and requires less water than ponding. However, it can be time-consuming to apply the mist evenly across the entire surface of the concrete, and it can be difficult to maintain the desired level of moisture. Number 3. Wet Covering This method involves covering the concrete with a wet material such as burlap, plastic, or special curing blankets. The wet material helps to keep the concrete moist and prevents rapid evaporation, allowing it to cure properly. This method is often used for small concrete structures such as sidewalks, patios, and steps. Number 4. Steam Curing This method involves placing the concrete in a sealed chamber and exposing it to high-pressure steam. The steam helps to increase the temperature of the concrete, which in turn speeds up the chemical reaction between cement, water, and other ingredients. This method is effective and can result in increased early strength and other desirable properties. It is often used for large concrete structures that require rapid curing, such as precast concrete panels. One of the benefits of steam curing is that it's fast and efficient. However, it can be expensive to implement and requires specialized equipment and facilities. It's best used in high-performance concrete mixes or in situations where rapid cure is desired. So, when should you start curing, and for how long? When it comes to the duration of the curing process, it's important to remember that every minute counts. Proper curing is essential for ensuring the strength, durability, and overall quality of your concrete structures. As a general rule, concrete should be cured for a minimum of 7 days or until it reaches 70% of its final strength, whichever comes first. During this time, it's important to keep the concrete moist to allow it to continue to hydrate and harden properly. After the initial seven days, the curing process can be discontinued, but it's still recommended to keep the concrete surface wet for the entire curing period, which is typically seven to 28 days, depending on the type of concrete mix and ambient conditions. However, it's not just the duration of the curing process that's important. It's also important to start the curing process as soon as possible after the concrete is placed. If you wait too long, the concrete will begin to dry out and may never reach its full strength potential. The curing process helps to slow down the rate of evaporation, allowing the concrete to hydrate properly and reach its full strength. One important thing to note is that the curing process for concrete can be influenced by a number of different factors, including the mix design, the weather conditions, and the type of aggregate used. For example, hot and dry conditions can cause concrete to dry out and set too quickly, which can weaken the structure and reduce its overall strength. In conclusion, the curing of concrete is a critical step in the construction process that requires careful planning and attention to detail. From duration to method, every aspect of the curing process can impact the final strength, durability, and overall quality of your concrete structures. So be sure to start the curing process as soon as possible and continue the process for at least 7 to 28 days or until the concrete reaches 70% of its final strength and keep the concrete moist to allow it to reach its full strength potential. And there you have it guys. If you found this video informative and educational, please hit that subscribe button and join our community of construction enthusiasts and experts. With your support, we can continue to bring you the latest and greatest information Thank you for watching.